Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com, and today we are going to be talking all about controlled brushwork. Because I look at a lot of beginner's artwork and I see the same mistake done over and over. And that is, they're looking for sort of a smooth, rendered look, but instead they end up with a bunch of overlapping, visible brush marks. So today's exercise is designed to practice having smooth rendering and avoid that kind of an effect. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint store. So your assignment is to copy my rendering samples. And I've attached two sheets of these, one that's black and white and one that's in color. So I'll show you what I mean by doing a few of them, and then it's up to you to do the rest on your own. Looking at this first one in the upper left-hand corner, you can tell a couple things about it. First, you can see that it's got hard edges. There's also a bit of a gradation from the bottom left to the upper right. It starts very white, and it ends up being a bit grayer. So there's a bit of a fade. So that means there's going to be two things, smooth rendering on the inside and hard edges on the outside. Well, that's a perfect candidate for what I call temp layers. So I'll use maybe even a soft brush, and I'll paint by selecting this white color and start with the intense white, and then it fades out a bit over the edge. So that is the smooth fade. Well, now I want the hard edge. And you could do this with a mask if you wanted. I'm just using the eraser tool, but however you want to do it's fine. And now I'm working on cleaning up that edge, trying to reproduce the shape that I see in my example. So the shape's not exactly right, but the important parts are there. It's got the correct smooth fade, there's no visible brush marks, and it's got a very sharp edge. And at this point, I'd be happy to just flatten this down to the rest of my document and move on to the next one. So here I've skipped ahead to a little more complicated one. So this one has a dark outside and a middle gray fade, and it fades back to dark on the other side. So I'm going to actually show using a hard brush for this. So I'm starting out by using a hard brush. I'll then make a new layer and paint that lighter gray on the inside. And if I want to make that fade a little bit better, maybe I'll switch to a soft eraser and soften up that fade a little bit. And I'll flatten those two together and now worry about that hard shape for the outside. So the shape may not be exactly right, but the key elements are there. No visible brush marks, a sharp edge, and the proper fade from dark to light and then back dark again. Now once you finish the first sheet, which is all black and white, it's time to move on to the color sheet, and this one's a bit more technical. So we'll start with this oval red shape, and I'm going to begin by painting the base color and working on the actual silhouette of this shape. Now I'm going to turn this layer into a clipping mask, and this is a subject I talk about plenty in the video that I'll link at the bottom of the post. So now I'm going to paint with the pink highlight color, and you notice that it's got a fade, but then it ends in a sort of a pinch. So it's got a sharp quality right here, but then a rounded soft quality here. So they're sharp and soft. And you can see how that indicates a certain type of surface. And you notice I don't have to worry about going outside the lines, and that's what the clipping mask is helping with. So now I'm going to make a new layer, make it a clipping mask, and I'm going to paint this blue color with a soft brush on the right side of it as well as on the left side of it. I'm going to race away if I've painted too much. So there you can see I got a variety of soft transitions, hard transitions, and all the paint strokes are contained within that sharp outline. So once you're happy with all these, you can flatten them down and move on to the next one. So in this exercise, even though we're using color, 
go ahead and use the eyedropper and copy my exact colors. This is all about brush technique. So your things to consider are going to be clean rendering, no visible brush strokes. The second thing you're going to consider is going to be your edges. Is it a hard edge or is it a soft edge? That transition between the two areas of color is incredibly important. So even though this may seem boring or straightforward, by the end of these 18 drawings, you will have learned a lot about your brush control, and it'll be something that you can apply to any paintings you want. So good luck and have fun. Thanks for coming to Control Paint, guys.